know your equipment. Like when people help me to hold, you know, an animal, if I touch them with my clippers, they just jump. And, you know, it's not going to cut you. So you do, you can do all that. It's just not. It might nick that little web in there if you really tried, but it's when you pull the skin up in there with it and it will. Anything that'll fit in there, it'll cut. She likes this because we're getting the mats off. And with her attitude, I think she would be difficult to do if she weren't matted, don't you? Because she doesn't seem to think this is her cup of tea right now. <laughs> she... And cats, you cannot keep them on the table. You should not expect anything after 15 minutes. It's something about cats. Dogs will stay on the table until they drop. A cat is through with you and everything in about 15 minutes. So you should know that. I didn't when I first started grooming cats and I couldn't figure out why. They were so good at first and then horrible. And also since their skin is so thin, you want to make sure that this blade is not hardly warm. Uh, they will burn. Which time-wise, that works out pretty good. They can't be on the table. Now they have, like dogs, they have a cutting area, areas that are very easily cut. And one is in the rear end, and I have not done that yet, and I'm not looking forward to it. But how I do a cat and how I teach people to do cats is you want to, it's the same technique as when you iron. You want it, there's, skin flat or instead of a wrinkle you'll get a cut and um, so like if you need to get here you want that straight and roll it over a muscle you know just pull it up over a muscle and brush because if I left it straight she's that's a high cut area for a cat and so you, I'm rolling her hair over a, a bone or, now, a muscle. No, no, no. I guess her 15 minutes are here. <laughs> Let me get this other mat. 